in accordance with Article 30 of the Electoral Ordinance. And this part, this, uh, during this hearing, we will vote on the validity of the list submitted to us on postulation day, which was held on July 2nd. On that day, nine various parties submitted lists to the Central Voting Bureau. On July 8th, we conducted an internal meeting in which we conducted various checks uh, for legal accuracy and, and to check that everything was in place with these lists. On July 9th, uh, we informed all parties in writing whether there, there were any defaults that needed to be cured. And parties had consequently until Friday, July 12th to remedy these defaults. So at this time, what I'll do is I'll go through the individual list and then as a voting bureau, we will vote on the validity and the maintenance of the candidates that, as they appear on that list and will appear on the ballot. And also for the party and dieting or the reference, which is the abbreviation as it appears on the ballot. PFP has submitted a list for 12 candidates for the upcoming election. I will go through the name of, names of these candidates as they will appear on the ballot if we approve them. Candidate number one, Melissa D. Gums. Candidate number two, Rayon A. Peterson. Candidate number three, Ludmila N. L. DeWeaver. Candidate number four, Patrice T. Gums. Candidate number five, Luciano L. Nichols. Candidate number six, Marvio A. Cooks. Candidate number seven, Jean O. Blaise. Candidate number eight, Rosalinda F. Martina. Candidate number nine, Marlon M. Hodge. Candidate number 10, David J. Solomon. Candidate number 11, Solange L. Duncan. Candidate number 12, Miklos M. C. Gitterson. The party reference for the PFP is PFP. Uh, now I look to my members of the Central Voting Bureau uh, to take a vote. If you're in agreement, we will raise all, everybody raise your hand. Um, we're voting on three things. One, for the validity of this list as it was submitted, the maintenance of the 12 candidates as they appear on the list, and of course, the, the reference of the party PFP. Can I see a show of hands? Approved. The Democratic Party has submitted a list of 23 candidates. I will also go through the names as they appear. Candidate number one, Sarah A. Westcott Gebode Williams. Candidate number two, Grisha S. Heiliger Gebode Martin. Candidate number three, Dimar C. Labega. Candidate number four, Khalil K. Rivan. Candidate number five, Viren V. Kotai. Candidate number six, Marinka J. Gums. Candidate number seven, Benjamin S. Bell. Candidate number eight, Fabio Doralis. Candidate number nine, Meiling A. M. R. Derby Chobode Chun. Candidate number 10, Ruben J. Esset. Candidate number 11, Alston A. Lawrence. Candidate number 12, Richard J. J. Panafleck. Candidate number 13, Quincy R. A. Rochester. Candidate number 14, Oliver N. J. Williams. Candidate number 15, Michael Sibaran. Candidate number 16, Densley M. Adamus. Candidate number 17, Dennis A. Williams. Candidate number 18, Cervante D. Hernandez Escarfuller. Candidate number 19, Alexander I. Gums. Candidate number 20, Ingrid A. Grell Gebode Davis. Candidate number 21, Laurel B. Kozier. Candidate number 22, Patricia A. Flanders. Candidate number 23, Ashkin R. Richardson. I will then put forward a motion to the members of the andiding. The reference for this party is the Democratic Party, which is in line with their registration with the Electoral Council. I will therefore then put forward a motion to the, my fellow members of the Voting Bureau uh, to maintain this list and approve this, the validity of this list, the maintenance of the candidates as they appear on the list, along with the party reference. All in favor, raise your hand. We have a unanimous decision. Then I will therefore go through 
the list as it was presented to us. Candidate number one, Franklin Antonio Myers. Candidate number two, Cecil Rodolfo Dimitro Nicholas. Candidate number three, Tamara Esterlin Leonard. Candidate number four, Claude Alfred Hans Peterson. Candidate number five, Rhoda Rebecca Arundel. Candidate number six, Paulina Nzinga Lake. Candidate number seven, Pamela Roseanne Gordon Chaboda Carty. Candidate number eight, Lucien Orlando Benschop. Candidate number nine, Ruben Antonio Bosco Pantuflet. Candidate number 10, Delano Denzel Samuel. Candidate number 11, Billy Jean Baptiste. Candidate number 12, Henrietta Marcos Clemente. The reference of the SAM is SAM, SAM as also registered with the Electoral Council. I therefore then put forward a motion to the members of the Voting Bureau to approve the validity of this list, the maintenance of the 12 candidates as they appear, along with the party reference. All in favor, raise your hand. The SAM, well, that is again a unanimous decision. As such, I will go over to reading the candidate names as they appear and as they were submitted to us. Candidate number one, Olivier E. Arundel. Candidate number two, Elvison J. Adamus. Candidate number three, Mario L. A. Arundel. Candidate number four, Lisa L. Alexander. Candidate number five, Louisa R. Lake. Candidate number six, Cleveland J. Codrington. Candidate number seven, Edward S. Arundel. Candidate number eight, Farley R. Elshot. Candidate number nine, Samuel V. Caceres. Candidate number 10, Daniel Jean. Candidate number 11, Laura C. Lewis Gebode Martin. Candidate number 12, Franklin D. Watson. Candidate number 13, Bob A. E. Wilkins. Candidate number 14, Donette T. Lanford Ferdinand. Candidate number 15, Aloysius E. F. Proctor. Candidate number 16, San Francisco E. Lake. Candidate number 17, Lee A. Blackman. Candidate number 18, Lawrence L. Lake. Candidate number 19, Florent Espilar. Espilar. The reference for the Ulichi Movement for Change is OMC as it was registered with the Electoral Council. I will hereby put forward a motion to all the members of the Central Voting Bureau to approve the validity of this list as submitted with its 19 candidates for the maintenance of the 19 candidates as they appear on the Model 2 form, as well as the party reference OMC to appear on the ballot. Can I see a motion to approve? Yes, unanimously approved. The reference as registered uh, with the Electoral Council is NOW now. I will go over and read the names of the 16 candidates as they will appear on the ballot if approved. Candidate number one, Christophe Theodore Emmanuel. Candidate number two, Claudius Anthony Bunkamper. Candidate number three, Lyndon Constantine Jr. Lewis. Candidate number four, Keith Peter John Gittins. Candidate number five, Giovanni Christopher Gums. Candidate number six, Ryan Reginald Richard James. Candidate number seven, Mark Edson Mantle. Candidate number eight, Leary Eastmore Hall. Candidate number nine, Drina Iola Lopez. Candidate number 10, Leandro Mario Peterson. Candidate number 11, Edwin Edward Schope. Candidate number 12, Kimberly Katerina Evangeline Reyes Puelo. Candidate number 13, Gerald Jr. Burnett. Candidate number 14, Mary Claire Gwendolyn Langlais. Candidate number 15, Louis Kenneth Smith. Candidate number 16, Gromico Leonid Norville Valerio Wilson. I hereby then put forward a motion to approve the list of the now, the reference of the now, along with the maintenance of the 16 candidates as I just read them and as they appear on the Model 2. Can I see a show of hands for approval? 
unanimously approved also by, uh, by, by, the, by the audience we have in here. As such, I will go over to reading the list of 18 candidates as submitted by the UP and as they will appear on the ballot if approved by the Central Voting Bureau. Candidate number one, Omar E.C. Otley. Candidate number two, Richard F. Gibson. Candidate number three, Akeem E. Arundel. Candidate number four, Francisco A. La Cruz. Candidate number five, Rolando Bryson. Candidate number six, Jonini Chatelier. Candidate number seven, Nikhil Kugrega. Candidate number eight, Addison A. Boston. Candidate number nine, Richard A. Patrick. Candidate number 10, Bria S. Christina Sorton. Candidate number 11, Teddy F. Charlie. Candidate number 12, Cressburg A. Brown. Candidate number 13, Shirley Hilaire. Candidate number 14, Kevin P. Bryan. Candidate number 15, Martin O. Wilson. Candidate number 16, S. Natasha Manuela Gebode Gums. Candidate number 17, Wendell A. Today. Candidate number 18, Chanel E. Brownville. As I mentioned, the reference for the United People's Party is UP up as registered with the Electoral Council. I'll put forward a motion to the rest of the members of the Voting Bureau to approve the validity of this list, the maintenance of the 18 candidates as they appear on the Model 2, along with the party reference. Can I see a show of hands for approval? Unanimously approved. Candidate number one, Nigel Emmanuel Wigley. Candidate number two, Armando Franklin Gums. Candidate number three, Arnold Ursel Dorr. As I mentioned, the reference for the Empire Culture, em, Empire, Empire Culture Empowerment. I should have written this one down. My apologies, Mr. Wigley. The, the, the reference uh, registered with the Electoral Council is ECE. I'll put forward a motion to approve the to, for the validity of this list, the maintenance of the three candidates as they appear on the Model 2, along with the party reference ECE. Can I see a show of hands for approval? Unanimously approved. The candidate number one, Luke F. E. Mercelina. Candidate number two, Christopher L. Waver. Candidate number three, Veronica C. Janssen Geboren Webster. Candidate number four, Herbert M. J. Martina. Candidate number five, Shamira D. M. Roseburg. Candidate number six, Gracita R. Arundel. Candidate number seven, Richnell S. J. Brug. Candidate number eight, Jason O. Matthew. Candidate number nine, Joseph G. Peterson. Candidate number 10, Michael O. Somersall. Candidate number 11, Delano L. Hutchinson. Candidate number 12, Felicia C. M. Brooks. Candidate number 13, Sao Y. Stamen Gebode Yao. Candidate number 14, Paco J. Isenia. Candidate number 15, Glensley C. Amer. The reference for the Unified St. Martin Resilient Movement Association is URSM, as registered with the Electoral Council. I hereby put forward a motion to approve the validity of this list, the maintenance of the 15 candidates as they appear on the Model 2 form, along with the party reference. A show of hands. Unanimously approved. Candidate number one, Silveria E. Jacobs. Candidate number two, Egbert Gerendi Duran. Candidate number three, Ardwell M. R. Irian. Candidate number four, Cloyd L. Marlin. Candidate number five, Daryl T. J. York. Candidate number six, Etzel E. Gums. Candidate number seven, Anna E. Richardson. Candidate number eight, Angelique J. G. Ramu. Candidate number nine, Shamila N. Williams Gebode Webster. Candidate number 10, Curtis K. W. Thomas. Candidate number 11, Hyacinth L. Richardson. Candidate number 12, Alan K. Connor. 
Candidate number 13, Shamira P.M. Hernandez. Candidate number 14, A. Terrence Ray. Candidate number 15, Ishmael Fosta. Candidate number 16, Louis G. Ruto. Candidate number 17, Carlita L.A. Guy. To reiterate, the party reference for the National Alliance is NA, as registered with the Electoral Council. I hereby put forward a motion to approve the validity of the National Alliance list, the maintenance of the 17 candidates as they appear on the Model 2 form, and the party reference. Can I see a show of hands for approval? Unanimously approved. Then that brings us to the end of this list. So once again, barring any appeals, we would like to uh, congratulate all parties, uh, the nine parties that submitted valid lists as approved today by the, by the Central Voting Bureau. <laughs>
um, more specialists on St. Martin, and that will come with the, with the new hospital. And regarding the SLV funds, yes, like, like I mentioned, um, when you look at uh, the way how the, the amount that we are spending and the amount that's coming in, you, you do see the numbers don't look good. And, but there is a large gray economy there. Are there we are seeing daily and all the time people who are working on St. Martin who sometimes they think that they are um, registered at SZV and then they find out that their, their boss didn't register them. So I'm, I'm trying to put something together for the community where um, SZV will be there, um, our social services will be there, and people will be able to confirm that they are registered. And so we know that businesses are paying into the system. We want everybody paying in. After Hurricane Irma, the Ministry of VSA and Vromi worked to get together to execute the roof repair program. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is that program complete? Given that we're in an active hurricane season, the roofs that have been repaired, is there any plan from government to ensure that those works are insured so that if there's damage mm. again in the future that insurance would pay rather than government? And is government prepared to do another roof repair project if there's a subsequent hurricane? And the um, second question is, can you update us on universal health insurance legislation? Um, is there any plans to tackle that before elections? Okay. So regarding the, the roof repair, there were two different projects for roof repair when I came in. Um, the NRPB roof repair project, that one was um, closed off. So what we still have is the roof repair project in VSI itself, which is not on, it's not only for roofs, but it's also people, um, they want just a small kitchen or, or something done, and from social, um, we do that. However, that's one of the budgets that was cut with the 32 um, million that was cut. So we still had some left, but I know that we ended up, when we had to cut the last 10 million, because the first was 22 million, and we had to cut an additional 10 million, um, the roof repair got cut by two, so we still have some funds um, for it. There was some people who had already registered, and so those we want to finalize. And we just started, I think we just started with one last week. Um, so there's not much that we can do. Regarding the insurance, I will take that as a very good suggestion because um, I don't know if it's being done, but I will check with the department if it's, um, if it's being done, that that's something that we can implement. And um, universal health insurance, general health insurance, um, that's another project that um, I understand that the ministry has been working on for 20 years. So I've been in there two months and a half. So 20 years versus two months and a half. I'm doing my best. I'm reviewing all the documentation. What was um, remarkable for me in my meeting with the WIMA, the, the general practitioners, they mentioned that they have not been updated recently on um, the whole general health insurance. So I don't want that. If, if I'm not going to come out with something and like enforce it, I want community involvement. So I want a meeting with the WIMA. Every meeting that I go to that I've mentioned there, I asked two questions. I asked about White and Yellow Cross, um, the hospital, the lab, all of them. I asked about general health insurance. What do you think about it? What do you think is, would be a pro? What do you think would, would um, not work? How would you tweak it? Uh, when I meet with the unions, I ask them that. So I want community involvement, and with that, I will take that and work on what was there. I believe in continuity of governments. I will work with what was, is there, but I want the community involved because maybe there's something that we are not seeing. For instance, the White and Yellow Cross mentioned that um, in Aruba, it, it, it didn't go well because the, the, the AUV money, which is the healthiest fund, was being tapped into two or was put in one pot. So when I hear that, then I, I think, okay, so when we are working on it, I want to pull that out. How can I pull that out, et cetera? So I want those, the community to be involved. Um, so it's going to take a little bit more time. So no, it's not going to be something that's going to be signed off um, before elections. 
but we are on a deadline. Actually, the deadline passed January. The 30th of January was the deadline, and it was not done. It was not done in the months before May when we started, but um, we have to get cracking on it, and I'm going to continue doing it. I'm not going to let this stop because there's election. I'm going to continue it because it has to continue. SV insured? Do you have a valid medical insurance status? SV is cardless. Request your My SV account today and enter the virtual office of SV. Go to SV.SX and sign up now. SV, yeah. your social health insurance. Country St. Martin in this unfortunate but second election for 2024. One we didn't ask for, but we will definitely ensure we represent for to make sure the people of St. Martin have good representation in Parliament and that we actually, how you say, it? right the wrongs yeah. and ensure right the wrongs where we have seen the fragmentation of our votes and get our people back on board so that we can resoundingly, like we did in 2010 and in 2014, take the victory resoundingly because the people of St. Martin, all the people of St. Martin deserve leadership that is stable, deserves a party that is stable because in four years, we have proven that hard work and dedication could take us through not one, but two major crises. And here we are today, poised, like I said back in January, for prosperity and they continue to throw rocks but we're not afraid of them. They come, they came and they threw rocks and then they banded up with four by two to form the most unstable government that St. Martin has ever had. 17 days. Instable because they could not keep it together. Up to today, they cannot agree on one single thing. Ask when last, they had a last calm meeting, ask them. But at the end of the day, I am here to say that 17 strong candidates, backed by all of the others who did not opt to vote uh, run this year, are here to show you that we're here to stay, that we're integral, we do it the right way, we are the real advocates, we are solid like a rock, still solid like a rock, that we are the strong voice for the people because the four we have in parliament are the voices of the people. We keep it real in here and we ensure that the people are represented. Financial statements that were in arrears for how long? We could tell you a gamut of things the National Alliance has done, not just in these four years, but over the 40 years that we have been in opposition. Huh? We were no fly-by-night company. We have been in the trenches for years. And over the past, from 2010 come up, we have shown to be the people's choice. They could have banded together, but we were the biggest party after the end of the day. And we will remain the biggest party because the people are disappointed in what is now the government of St. Martin. They can say what they want. They can throw all the rocks they want. But the NA is here to stay. They continue to question 
and we can answer. They continue to throw rocks and we could catch and throw back. Woo. Because at the end of the day, they have a legacy of 40 years of mismanagement of this country. Yeah. And all of the smaller parties, oh yeah, they're celebrating 70. But they also have all their little offshoots are all derivatives of that same party. So when you vote for them, you're getting back what you had 40 years ago. If you want a government that is consistent, that works, and we know that things don't happen as fast as we want them to, but if we don't do it the right way, then it is not done. Then it is temporary. It only lasts for one one-year election cycle. But we want what? Four years of stable government. Four years. And one thing we must ensure is that evil never sits in these seats. As I have said in many an interview, and I've also said to many of the candidates that wanted to be on this list but just were not quite ready, they felt it was too quick. When good people stand on the side, bad things happen. So I'm gonna ask all the good people of St. Martin to go out there and vote. Vote right, vote white, vote the National Alliance. From the leader right down. Leader, right down. We brought on another woman as well. We have women even supporting, though they're not running this year. We want gender equality. We, we want a good environment. We want education that works for our children. And all the haters can be out there talking, but we see where that one ran to. We know what we have to do to fix education, and we have the people to do it. Yeah. And we will ensure that education will be the bedrock upon we, which we build equality in this country. Woo. So that it's not just a good St. Martin for a choice few. If you look at those parties, they have been enjoying the bounty. But when we got in power, we made sure that the people of St. Martin had SSRP, yeah. that the businesses were saved, that we could bounce back, and now our economy is booming. The IMF said it, the CFT said it, but we have to do the right things today. We can either go towards prosperity or go towards the past. On what side will you be? Let us be on the side of the National Alliance. Thank you very much.